Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and this is Palmer Aquatics. If you haven't visited my channel before, I'm a fish aquarium guru and I'm absolutely obsessed with aquarium plants, house plants. If it grows and I can keep it in my house, chances are I love it. But anyways guys, today I wanted to kind of go in on a deep dive in giving you guys some tips on aquarium plant lighting because I've learned a lot of stuff uh, just by like my experience with dabbling with cheap aquarium lights for plants, expensive aquarium lights, you know, com companies that send me really like fancy $200 lights versus like, su uh, like super cheap $9 lights. And I just wanna give you guys some tips from my experience. I will first start by saying that if you're keeping a smaller nano aquarium, that the lighting is a lot simpler to figure out or it's, it's just cheaper and it's easy to figure out. So like these little cheap lights, on these like small little five gallon aquariums, they work perfectly and it's so simple. Here's another example of them. Um, for some reason, just small little nano aquariums, they can get by using like these small cheap lights. But when it comes to like larger aquariums, like 20 gallons or 10 gallon aquariums, that's where things get a little more complicated and you actually have to like spend some more money and lighting. So my first tip, is if you're looking for an aquarium light for plants, anywhere for like a, a 10 gallon all the way up to a 30 gallon, chances are you're just gonna have to bite the bullet and buy an aquarium planted LED. You know, there's a bunch of different brands. There's uh, Beamswork, there's Hyger, there's a bunch of different uh, brands that are really known on Amazon. And they're all pretty close, like similar in quality. Um, but if you if you like if you try to settle for like the super cheap ones, like here's an example. Um, I've learned that uh, if you get super cheap like China lights, uh, this is really small and thin. You can kind of tell by the housing. Let me take this out. See how that housing is really tiny and just like there's just not much to the entire assembly of the pl of the light. What happens is the light will work but you will, you'll be faced with a lot more algae. See, like this tank gets a lot more algae and you can even see it in here, it's obvious, versus a light that has, um, like it's, it's more expensive and it has maybe like the reds and the blues and the greens. Does this light have that? This one only has blues. So this is basically just like a white one. And we still do deal with algae, but it's not as bad with like the more expensive lights. Like these ones over here, these tanks do a lot better because they're a higher grade light. And you can tell because it's a, it's a metal assembly, the diodes are higher quality, and it's just a, it's a better made light. And it has the reds and the blues. Uh, it has a color spectrum, if that makes any sense. And this is the same light here. So you can tell there's just less algae and that's just that's just that's the bitter truth of how it works out to my experience i'm sure someone in the comment section will be like yeah chris uh but i have the cheapest light you can find and my tank looks amazing um this is just like a general rule of thumb because i've dabbled with all kinds of lighting and um it, this is my experience so you can you can argue me, argue me in the comments, but this is my experience. I've also messed around a lot with the different spectrum of lightings you can play with. Like for instance, if you guys are unaware of this, there are different spectrums of lighting and that's essentially the coloration of the light. Like this light right here is a 4K and that means it's a little bit more yellow of color and I've realized that some plants don't like 4K lighting, but some do. The java ferns, um, a lot of this, like the super low tech easy plants, they're fine with the 4K. You can tell it's a yellow, it's more of a yellow coloration than like these white lights. See the difference? I'm hoping you can see the difference. That's super white and this is more yellow. You might not be able to see it. Let me know in the comments if you can see it. And the reason I was testing these lights is because a person can save a lot of money by using these shop lights because they sell them at home improvement stores for super cheap. Like for instance, we've had really good luck using the Walmart shop lights. And we actually had so much, uh, so much luck with them that we have them on our 55 gallon aquariums. Look at how amazing that looks. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. This one as well. And we've had so much luck with them that we actually trialed them with the house plants. We literally screwed them to the ceiling in two different areas and our house plants love them. 
It's super crazy. And a lot of people ask me, how do I buy those lights? Um, go to Walmart and go in the home improvement section and there's LEDs, uh, shop lights. This is the Hyper Tough 5000K or maybe it's 6000K, but it's li literally like only $18. And we've been having a ton of luck with them because you gotta remember, um, house plants and aquarium plants are essentially using the same light spectrum because it's just plants are plants. And look at this Pothos Madness. This is another one of those Walmart shop lights. $18, guys. It's crazy, right? Those are all Pothos. And we also tested, I mean, we've tested pretty much any kind of lighting you can think of. These are, um, what lights are these? These are the Hiker lights. They have different, different series. These are the newest ones. And that tank looks amazing, right? I've also, um, I will also admit that we found better success keeping plants when we raise the light above the aquarium. You will notice that a lot of our lights are raised like eight, six to eight inches above the aquarium. And um, I highly advise this. I just think that um, it kind of helps spread out the lighting a, a bit more instead of just keeping it on top of the lid. And it just, um, it just, it, it works so much better and we've had tons of success with it. And we don't keep lids on any of the aquariums. There's another shop light screwed up there. And here's the office. We have also been dabbling with these DIY shop lights up here. You can literally buy these at Menards or Home Depot for like six bucks a piece or something. That's a 6,000K light spectrum and just super bright. And our house plants absolutely love them. And you can tell because this plant, this is called a polka dot begonia. You can tell by the leaves because the leaves are way smaller over here where we had it somewhere else. And then as the plant grows, the leaves are getting massive. So yeah, to wrap this up, my tips would be if you're keeping a small little nano aquarium with plants, um, you, can, you can get by with one of those small little pods, just the cheapo ones because they work okay. Um, you can also splurge a little bit and uh, get a more expensive clip on light. Here's an example of one. We just had a, we just did a demo video on this. Um, if they have like different colors in the light, usually that means they're a little better quality. Um, but if you're gonna be keeping a light on like a, anywhere from a 10 to a 30 or 40 gallon aquarium, you're gonna have to probably buy a specific plant LED and just spend some money. Unless you can somehow figure out like a shop light and spread them across on a rack, you might be able to save some money. And then once it jumps up to the four foot aquariums, we use shop lights because they work amazing. We use these Walmart ones. We've used them over and over and over. I have, I had tons of aquariums in the basement and they were all running on those. They work great. Um, that would also, you can maybe put two of those on a 125 or just one of them. That's what we have over here. So those are kind of my, 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 that's my advice and tips. Uh, to light to lights for aquarium plants. So let me know in the comment section. Hope this video helped you. Someone had asked if I would do a little guide on this and just because I'm kind of just like a, a nerd with aquarium lighting and plant lighting as a whole. By the way, um, if you guys like house plants, you should check out my other channel, House Plant Therapy, um, because we have tons and tons of videos um, on house plants. So without further ado, guys, hit me up in the comment section. Like this video if it helped you, if you got some advice. Um, ask questions in the comments. I will be there, so I will see you in the next one.